Welcome back to Drop the Box. Today we're going to be doing front discs and pads on this 2019 Renault Capture. First you need to locate the brake fluid reservoir under the cap and we're going to extract the fluid from the reservoir. We're going to do this for two reasons. One because we're going to be replacing the brake fluid anyway and two when we go to push the pistons back it will push the fluid from the pistons back into the reservoir and sometimes that can spill over and cause a bit of a mess. Take this clip off by pushing the clip there and prising them away with a screwdriver. With a screwdriver, slowly prise the piston back a little bit so it's free in the carrier. So we need to go around to the back of the caliper. And take these two dust covers off. And these will reveal the two bolts that hold the caliper on. These two bolts are held in with a 7mm Allen. As you can see, these bolts also act as the caliper sliders. Now with the caliper bolts removed, remove the caliper. Take out the old brake pad. And take your reliable bungee cord and hang the caliper up out of the way like that. Remove the two bolts that are holding the caliper carrier to the hub. You may need to break a bar to crack these off. Remove the two bolts that are securing the disc to the hub. These are Torx 35. With the securing bolt out, gently tap the disc off the hub. Although well, everything's disassembled, we need to do a bit of housekeeping. First, you need to get a wire brush and clean up the hub. Then, you need to get another wire brush and clean up the car uh, caliper carrier paying close attention to where the pads are going to slide in the carrier these are the caliper sliding bolts you took out earlier now it's best to give these a bit of a clean as well with a bit of hemry cloth or brillo pad and then you're going to want to apply a little bit of grease to the end as well so the caliper can slide over them freely before you fit the discs spray them with a bit of brake cleaner and clean off the surfaces each side because when these are manufactured they do apply a thin layer of grease or oil to them to protect the disc when it's being stored. Now that everything's been cleaned we can start with the reassembly. So first you need to put the disc on. Snip these securing bolts up. 
no need to go wild with these because they're only there to locate the disc in the correct position. Refit the caliper carrier. The torque setting for these bolts is 100 Newton meters. Refit the brake pads by sliding them into the carrier. And if you notice, I've put a little bit of grease on either end of the brake pad, just where it's going to slide back and forth in the carrier. Now that the brake pads are in, slide the carrier, the caliper, back into position. Torque these bolts to 28 newton meters. Let's put this clip back in position. It's best to catch in the holes first. And then manipulate the spring around the carrier. Now that's the whole assembly back together. Now it's exactly the same uh, procedure on the other side. Once you've done the other side, jump it into the car and pump that foot, foot pedal to bring the piston out in the caliper. And then uh, you're going to want to bleed your brakes. Uh, for this, you're going to need a 9mm spanner to open the bleed nipple. Now, I'm not going to go through how to bleed your brakes because there's already a video on the channel on how to do that. Um, so if, if you're not sure on how to do that, please check that video out. I'll leave the a link in the description. Once you've bled your brakes, now you need to check your fluid levels and put the cap back on. You need to torque your wheels and you need to pump that foot pedal one more time. And well, that's it. I hope you found the video helpful. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And if there's anything you want to see in the future, please leave a little comment and I'm sure we can do something for you. Uh, please stay tuned, there's plenty more content coming up, and we'll see you again. Thanks.